Hey, what's up guys? I'm David and welcome to More Mobile. Today I want to talk about the rumors surrounding the S9 and S9 Plus, which are only a few weeks away from being released. Now recently the leaker Evan Blast released a picture which he claims is the final look of the S9 and S9 Plus. And they look decent in my opinion, although I do like the look of the S8 and S8 Plus better, but that's just my opinion. Now I've rounded up the latest rumors about the S9 and S9 Plus, and I thought I'd make this video just so you guys will have an idea of what to expect when the phone gets released. Some of these rumors I'm very excited about, others not so much. One of the rumors that I'm not excited about is that Samsung may be differentiating between the S9 and S9 Plus. So if you're a fan of the smaller size phone, then you may be missing out on some pretty cool new specs. For starters, they will both have the same exact processor. North American customers can expect to get the Snapdragon 845 version and international customers will most likely get Samsung's own Exynos 9810. Now these two processors both have their advantages and disadvantages, so don't fret too much over which one you get. Samsung will most likely optimize the software to run about the same on both. So even though there might be small differences between the two, they probably won't be very noticeable. Both phones will have Quad HD Plus Super AMOLED displays with a resolution of 2960 by 1440. That's the same resolution that the S8 and S8 Plus had, so don't expect much difference there. The aspect ratio will also stay the same at 18 by 5 by 9. So if you weren't a fan of that longer aspect ratio, then sorry, you're going to have to live with it. The display sizes from the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus will also carry over to the new phones. So the small phone will have a display that measures 5.8 inches and the S9 Plus will have a 6.2 inch screen. Now there's been rumors that the bezels may get smaller on the phones, however if you look at the picture that Evan Blast posted, the bezels actually look bigger than what was on the S8 and S8 Plus and the Note 8. That could be just my eyes playing tricks on me, so if you see something different, you might be right. However, at first glance, it just doesn't look that much thinner than the older phones. Rumors are also saying that Samsung will not upgrade the batteries either, so that's kind of a disappointment, especially since the battery on the S8 and S8 Plus were only 3,000 and 3,500 milliamp hours respectively. Now every year Samsung makes their displays a little brighter, a little more colorful, so that for sure will take a toll on the batteries. Now they will have new processors and they will be running the latest version of Android. So they will definitely be more power efficient than what was seen in the 2017 phones. However, a bigger battery is always welcome and looks like Samsung will not be giving that to us this year. Both phones will also be IP68 water resistant, so that's the same as last year's phones. There's also been rumors that Samsung has also added a new water repellent coating. Now I've seen some videos with this coating in action, and basically it repelled all the mud that the phone was dipped into basically, so that's pretty cool. And I'm guessing that with that coating, the phone will also be more resistant against fingerprint stains, which the Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus were basically magnets for. And now we're going to start getting into some of the differences and one area in which the S9 Plus will definitely have the upper hand is in the camera department. Now both phones will have a 12 megapixel rear shooter with an aperture of f1.5 and this is going to be variable, variable aperture so you can actually decrease that aperture from 1.5 to 2.4 and if any of you know anything about photography you know that aperture and depth of field go hand in hand so being able to adjust that aperture you can actually control the 
amount of depth of field that you get in your pictures and that's really cool and with an aperture as high as 1.5 you can get some pretty good bokeh effect with that now however the galaxy s9 plus is rumored to have two cameras like the galaxy note 8 however the s9 will only have one camera so that's a bummer if you wanted the smaller phone uh, the front cameras will be 8 megapixels just like last year. Um, other features that we can expect to see in both is improved slow motion capabilities. Now last year's phones could only do super slow motion at 720p. They could shoot 1080p at 60 frames per second. However, the slow motion at 60 frames is not that great. I'm hoping that they give us higher resolution slow motion this time hopefully super slow motion at 1080p now the RAM the s9 plus is rumored to have six gigabytes of RAM and the smaller version is rumored to have four gigabytes of RAM now I use a Galaxy Note 8 currently and it has six gigabytes of RAM the phone I used before the Note 8 was the Samsung Galaxy S7 which had four gigabytes of RAM now mind you the Galaxy Note 8 has a newer processor and it's running the newer version of Android. However, there is definitely a difference in speed and smoothness between the 6GB and the Note 8 and what the Samsung Galaxy S7 at 4GB could deliver. Now if this is not a RAM related issue and it was just the software, then 4 gigabytes and 6 gigabytes may not make that much of a difference. However, if this difference in speed and smoothness is due to the RAM itself, then you can expect to see some performance differences there. So again, that's a downside of buying the smaller version, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Storage wise, most likely just like last year, the base model will have 64 gigabytes. Although it's been rumored that the S9 Plus base model will have 128 gigabytes or up to 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Both are rumored to have a micro SD card slot and most likely they will. And that's it guys. Thanks for joining me today. I would like to know what your opinions are on Samsung differentiating between the S9 and the S9 Plus. So please put those opinions in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you like the video, then hit that like button and I will see you guys next week. See you.